How do you find a Detroit diesel powered loader? You just look for where it's marked as territory and that's probably where it's gonna be. There's my loader. I love it and I hate it for varied and sundry reasons. Everyone loves it, so I'm gonna give it a quick walkthrough. Notice it has X braces on the radiator. Yeah, I, I put those there because that's how it's braced from the factory and those little spot welds have all broken. So none of these brackets was working. So this radiator would sit there and, and rack this way and that's not good. So I just got some little strips of steel and bolted them in place as you see here and now you cannot move it it's not racking anymore so that's good and yeah there's all the oil that comes down the stack because it's a slobbery machine 60 something years old so there you go now it's cold. I mean, it's not, it's about 70 degrees out, but I mean, this is not yet run today. So you would consider this a cold start. I mean, not, uh, not you guys from Canada and Wisconsin and Minnesota, but this is a Kentucky cold start. So for some reason, they put the key back here and the, the shutoff is here, kind of we had to bend down to, to reach it, which, you know, not a huge thing, but if it were me, I would have put it up there. That'd be more normal. But I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. And there's the oil pressure gauge. We'll, we'll watch that as it builds oil pressure. And it, uh, it takes a, a few beats to build pressure but uh, you can actually hear the motor get quiet when the when it has oil pressure and it takes a few few more beats for the uh, for the gauge to catch up so I'll go ahead and fire up the engine and it's an easy starting motor that's one thing these two cycle Detroit diesels are known for so you'll probably yeah no doubt be able to hear the engine you might be able to hear it get quiet but I'll just, uh, I'll focus on the oil pressure gauge here. And we'll, we'll see what it does. Try to eliminate that glare. There you go. There you go. It's, it's the Dutch angle. Here we go.
shut off. So we got a pile of logs here. And I think I can get some eight foot boards out of that one there, so. I'm gonna drag it out. And this brake pedal has got a leak in it. Not a big deal, just annoying. So I'm gonna have to get a, a rebuild kit for that. Get that rebuilt just because if ever I sit and like eat lunch or whatever, I'll drain the pressure out of the tank so that that hissing doesn't annoy me. All right. Now comes the fun part, dragging that big ash log out of there. And if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it very much. It doesn't cost a penny. And as my old pappy used to say, be of good cheer. Thanks for watching.